Hi guys at Road Students, it's Mrs. Lewis and I wanted to post another video for you guys about social emotional learning um, and this one is about mindfulness again. Last week we did activities about um, five senses grounding and different um, ways to ground yourself when you're feeling upset or anxious, worried about things and how to, oh, there's Haskell. Say hi buddy. <laughs> He likes to jump in a lot of my videos. And this week I wanted to do another mindfulness activity and um, this time I'm going to ask you some questions from this fun deck of Mindfulness Matters um, that asks different um, questions um, about mindfulness and different ways to practice that um, at home. So I have picked out three cards that had um, fun and interesting questions, I thought, and these could be questions that you ask yourself. It could be questions that you ask a sibling or mom or dad, or if you're on a phone call with um, grandma, grandpa, or aunt and uncle, um, you could ask them these questions too. It's a fun conversation piece as well. So the first card says, mindfulness, like any skill, takes practice. What is something you are good at that took a while to learn? It could be um, a sports skill or cooking, it could be an academic skill, something that you found challenging at first at school, but after some practice, you learned to do it really well and now it's a strength. Another question says, how can you tell if, if someone is really listening to you? This is something we talk about with our PBIS strategies a lot and whole body listening. How do you tell if you have the attention of your audience? Are their eyes looking at you? Is their body calm and quiet? Um, think about um, how they're receiving the information that you're giving them um, and what feedback their body's giving you. And the last question I have for you guys today, um, what does it mean when someone says to stop and smell the roses? That's uh, something people sometimes say to you when they want you to stop, take a moment and enjoy what's happening around you to stop and smell the roses. Oftentimes in our lives, we get so busy with things, we forget to stop and enjoy the little things or the small moments in our life. What are some things that you could notice about your home or your family, about things that are starting to grow outside? If you took a moment to stop and really enjoy them. One thing that I've been enjoying this past week is that uh, I noticed that a uh, robin bird uh, built a nest right next to my garden boxes outside and um, as I peered from a safe distance in I could see that she had laid two little robin's eggs that are bright blue and beautiful um, and that's something that I probably wouldn't have noticed if I didn't take the time and notice that oh there's a nest built there and what maybe's in that nest so uh, I look forward to um, getting to see the little baby bee birds um, hatch and maybe I'll put, I did take a, um, a picture of the nest with the eggs in it that's very beautiful. Um, maybe I'll post that as the cover to this video. But I wanted to let you guys all know that I miss you and I've been thinking about you and I hope you enjoyed this video. Think about those questions and share them with your loved ones. Bye.